But I'm gonna pick the Positive Prom plays Steam World Dig 2. Oh, yeah, Enter the Temple Giant and the Wind Plains. I was wondering what she was talking about there for a second. Yeah, yeah, yeah we were already done. Um, yeah, so last time we got the hook shot. So we need to do all sorts of neat stuff now. Um, that'll help a lot for exploration. And it should also let us get to. Whoops! Oh, you can't take damage in town. Is that true? What that? <laughs> um. Yeah. Oh, so we can talk to him about the temple. Ruins are mostly uncharted. The temple's always been dangerous. Or treacherous, rather. Arnold Hubbard. Some sort of ghastly vision foretelling the end of the world. Um... Yeah. So I'm curious... Was it possible for us to go further down in this area? I kind of want to check that out before we go any further. I don't recall. Oh, there's stuff to talk to people here, too. Maybe about the temple? Stabby Helen likes to wrestle some robots. Uh Yeah. All right. We're we're not going to keep our distance from you, I think. Yeah, I don't I don't think shoes can swim. Mm, okay. Search the temple for the source of the quakes. Interesting. Well, I found 66% of the secrets here. Hmm. Got a little bit of a tech hiccup there. Apologies. Um. The only thing that was missed uh, is that I found a secret passage here. There was a breakable block right here. In fact, if you look at the, the previous parts of the video, you should be able to see that. But I just went around here and grabbed that, and it had a uh, one of the $30 gems in it. You can see in my inventory right now. So that's the only thing that's been missed. Going to uh, continue seeing if we can go down to this other area here and just see what's down there before we go out back out to the Windy Plains. Uh, but everything else should be as it was. I don't think I, I did anything else uh, during that time. Just a, just a quick check to make sure that our recording was going here. Oh, that's right! We had we had come down here and it was like really, really difficult to start digging. That's right. That's why I hadn't gone further down this direction. And that, I mean, we probably should just go to uh, the Windy Plains. It's just that, you know, I like exploring. And it wouldn't be- ooh, that's a new type of uh, regular gem, like a, or common gem rather, I should say. So that's kind of interesting. I don't try to- try to be s sneaky with that damn. Wow, these things are like really, really aggressive. There we go. <laughs> I'll kill one more of these. I wonder if we can air juggle it. Oh wow, I am almost dead, speaking of which. Um, I'll probably just grab this oh, silver. 
Probably just grab this money here, and then, uh... Yeah, I'm really surprised there's no, um... Whatchamacallit here. Um, two. Yeah, I'm getting, <laughs> getting into darkness town here, which is really extra scary because, uh... Oh, I can kind of, like, hook myself around corners. You saw that, I could kind of, like... How did I do that? Yeah! Oh, that's actually really interesting. You just grab the corner, it actually gives you a little boost around. Um, so you can get back up. That's a really neat little... I don't like almost, I feel like it's a hidden mechanic. I don't know if that's necessarily... I'm sure it's intentional, just... Um... Wait, did I get extra speed there? Oh, yeah. Alright, and we have our, our tube in here. This does not refill health and life. Or in light, rather, so... Just be a little careful still. Yeah, that's a lot of money. It's the next pickaxe! 500. Which is wild. That's actually quite a bit. Um, I mean, it's possible we want to start getting some cheaper stuff in the meantime. Maybe more light wouldn't be a terrible idea at this, at this point. Gordon reflexes. Increases the chance of you automatically dodging falling rocks. That's interesting that this increases the chance. Is that a thing that already happens? I suppose I haven't let myself be crushed by rocks yet, so... Um, yeah, so we gotta go out to the windy plains here. And we'll be able to manage our way through here with the, uh... I hope this lowers falling damage. Or, oh. May have just increased it there by accident. Oh, we can... Oh, that's... We can kind of push them. Hey, there's a treasure here! Ninja Cat action figure. Oh, you know what? This is going to give us a blueprint, too. Um, boy, that one is actually really hidden. Um, but yeah, this should actually give me a blueprint. Because it's our... Um, 10th one. Do I want it? Yeah, uh, let's, let's wait until we have a little more money. Oh, that turns them around. That's that's really interesting. Um, yeah, let's wait until we have a little more money. Maybe our next trip we'll hand that blueprint in and see if we can uh, do something with it. Yeah, glorious destruction, Fen. Yeah, maybe um be a little less on the on the death on those rockets would be preferable here. So I wonder if um, I can prevent myself from getting blown back with the uh yeah. Oh, except it's kinda hard to tell when the, the push is actually happening. It's interesting that it does kind of let you go through most of this even without, even though this is obviously the intended means of getting through here. So we should be able to climb up and over this area now, which is what we couldn't do before. <laughs> oh, I will say, it's a little easier said than done here. Damn. Um, the best way to go about this, I wonder. Maybe this way? There we go. Alright, sweet. So now we're up and over that spot that we were... Oh my goodness. This is... this is crazy. Uh-oh. Oh, man. You have such a, a short window to get over there. There we go.
My goodness. Hope this uh, does let up at some point. There we go. Oh, thank God. That was a bit nuts. I do see that there's a tube over there, so it means we won't have to do that again, which is nice. Nice. Uh, yeah, well, now that we have a tube, let's go back and turn this in. I have. Sweet. Blueprint. Pocket of Frayer. Next is at 15. So I figured out what the, the thing with, um, oh, whoops. The thing with these ladders is basically like, if you're going from, of course I'm, I'm pressing up to, to do it. But basically if like you're holding up, I think it is. Yeah, if you're holding up, when you cross the ladder it won't, like you actually have to re do a repress. That's kind of just an interesting little programming snafu. But it's just weird when you're coming off one ladder and trying to go to the next one that you have to repress. Oh uh, yeah, I don't need to talk to you. Here we go. So where is a cog upgrade, right? Whoa. Let's you store one extra chunk of ore per regular slot. And it requires five cogs. Honestly? That doesn't seem that great. Not right now, maybe later on. This is going to the... Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yeah, I bet there's something up here. There is. There's a... Whoa, Temple of the Destroyer. Excuse me? Suddenly feel like maybe I'm not supposed to be here. Hey, there's a tremolite and a cog here. Don't mind if I do. Uh-oh. Ooh. Oh, I was gonna say, I could see on my map that there was uh, an open spot there. How about that? Damn, so this was actually a very profitable little uh, secret area there. Can I get up to there? Is there anything up there? Nah. Just want to see if I can Mario Brothers it. Yeah, so that was a nice little cache of goods there. Anything even further up? Yeah, oh, yep. Inflatable friend. Aw. He's got a little party hat on. Uh-oh. Ooh. Weird that your light... Is my light decreasing here? No, I guess not. I thought it was. I'd say that'd be a little strange. Oh! Oh, uh, that's rusty. Yeah, what is going on here? The Great Rusty is the destroyer that was promised. Oh, Christ. Dead <laughs> this infidel is removed from the Temple of Guidance. No, no. No, please don't. Please, please don't make with the sacrificing. So now we've got enemies that kind of... Oh, yeah, we can turn them around with the... Oh, damn. Okay, so we got enemies that uh, are going to actively fight back, I guess, would be a, a good way to put it. That's pretty interesting. I probably could have just thrown a bomb at him. Interesting. Hmm. What happens if we let this drip? Yeah, it lit it up. What did that do, though? Oh, it, ign it lit that switch. Okay. Secret area. 
Now that Kaga got some of the three we've got now. Um, hi, where are you? I'm assuming that's gonna open this, let us go in, but what's that golem there? Oh, they sure are. Cultists typically are. Find that prophet of theirs, yeah. Yeah, why is why is there a statue of Rusty? Why is Rusty being known as the destroyer? I get the feeling he's not actually the destroyer. Uh oh. Ooh, okay, that's a kinda just did that on reaction there. Actually it kinda gives us an air attack in a way as well, because normally we couldn't do that. I could kill these things all day. I really like the music in here too. Actually, just kind of was listening there for a bit. Apologies for the sudden silence. Just a really good track. It's very um, it's it's very like upbeat Metroid. I, I would almost say it's very like Metroid Fusion. There's so much money here. Holy crap. Maybe I did need that extra slot after all. I like this double uh, double resource chance. That's definitely one of my favorite upgrades. I don't think it's an expensive one either, cog-wise. Oh, that's... I just got an achievement, your friendly neighborhood uh, Spider-Man or something like that, I think. For I think it was... For killing these guys with the the hook, it's interesting. Wow, there is there is oh there's a tube here too. Fantastic, because we're gonna need that shortly. There is just a ludicrous amount of resources here. Oh, there's a cog there. Where's the entrance? See the... This one here? There it is. Nice, that's four. I mean, we could almost afford that. That extra resource slot thing. I mean, I guess that is a lot of resource slots. When you when you factor in how many we have, and if there is an, an extra carrying capacity in each one, that is quite a bit. Maybe I'm selling that upgrade short a little bit. But at the same time, and we can also just like you know go back. <laughs> I don't- I don't think it's worth five, um, five cogs right now. So I feel like this is gonna be a lot of money. Oh yeah. yeah. That was- that was quite a bit of cash. 183. Hard boiled in the rest of the mines. More valuable stuff in them. Okay. Just giving us kind of a hint about caves if we haven't done those yet, I suppose. Cock Summoner, what? Has a chance of spawning an extra light orb from defeated enemies, yeah. Rents your life from dropping below 50%. That, I feel like that's a huge upgrade. I wonder if we can get that right now. Almost.
What do we want to get here? A lot of options. Pulls exposed resources toward you. I don't think that's really necessary. Although, I mean, if we don't have other great options here. Go for Summoner. And uh, I guess we'll do Magnetic Separator for now. See how useful that is. And uh, let's do a little more. I'm not, actually not entirely sure off the top of my head how much... Uh, wow, that is uh, significantly more magnetism than I would have guessed it provided. So maybe that is really handy. Yeah, I didn't think it would just pull it up and... Oh, jeez. Surprise! <laughs> yeah, I didn't expect it to pull it like up and over stuff. Oh jeez. Well, these are very dangerous. Trying not to get myself too turned around here. So stagger or hitting them doesn't prevent them from attacking is, is the big danger there that I'm seeing. Whoa, that was a little close. The Bat Cave. All right, see ya. Hmm. Oh, okay. I see what we have to do here. Must have to use these guys to break the uh, blocks. Oops, that was a miss. Did I get that one. Yeah, there we go. Clever. I see a, a hidden spot there, too. Right, uh... Wait, how would I... Oh, okay. Wow, that's actually really tricky. Let's, uh, let's actually get this out of the way. So I'm gonna have to lure one of these guys all the way up. That's crazy. Uh-oh. You know what? I have made a mistake. We'll spawn more, right? Oh no, okay, we got this one still. Here we go, here we go. I don't think they have a duration or anything, so... Getting him... This is gonna be really tricky, though. Here we go. And boom. Nice. Hey, it's uh, another treasure. Boy, are we up to 13 now already? I think we've only got a couple left. Uh-oh. Yep. Just kind of saw that coming, unfortunately. So we did lose some resources there. Oh, we should have enough for... Yeah. So let's try that. So, I mean, essentially it gives us permanent light. Or infinite light, right? Now obviously it's not as good as... Um, having full light, but if, if we always have at least half light, that's, I mean, probably enough, honestly. Which means then our, our expeditions are only limited by health and um, space. You don't get style points, I probably shouldn't do that. Wow, that's a lot of uh, cultists. Oh! 
yeah. <laughs> That's what I was afraid of. Damn, damn, damn. A lot of enemies here all of a sudden. It is really satisfying. Oh boy. Oh, that guy got knocked across there. Kind of backfired. Uh-oh. Need someone to draw me some health there. Also, uh, currently out of water. Not great. Wow, Topaz for forty dollars there. Um, damn, I gotta find a way to. All right, now, now we're starting to get a problem here. Maybe I need to get that resource saver where you lose less when you die, because that's twice now that we've lost eh, not an insignificant amount of resources. Um, oh, there is actually a level required for these. That's interesting. In fact, why don't we get a, a health upgrade? What are the Vidar boots? Do acid and lava resistant for a short while? That's interesting. Um, are there two we could save here? I mean, we don't really need the magnet. It's nice, but we don't really need it. Let's try to get one more tube here before I end the episode. It, this episode is running a bit long, but kind of just into it. Do we have any potential secret passages? So you don't get the detail, um, which is kind of interesting. When you're on the like the the bigger map, you don't see like the detail of what is and isn't explored. It can be a little tricky. Alright, that wasn't a terrible way to handle that. Oh boy. Okay, so we got conveyor belts here. That's in new and interesting. At least it's shiny is uh achievement I just got. I wonder what that's about. Um And break through this, right? Yeah. We definitely get into more temple areas here. Just kind of hunting for secret spots as well. I see an enemy spawner there. Or no, it's a box spawner, it looks like. Oh my, that looks not safe. Alright, there's another tube. But I wanna get... I wanna get this before we, um... Finish up here. Oh jeez. Let me guess, I can't... Well, that does break them, but... Oh, I can do that? Okay, I can... <laughs> Didn't realize I could just hit them. Alright, let's get this tube. Oh, that's another uh, spot. Is 
Does that lead to this section? Looks like it. Wow. Oh, we got it. I didn't know you. Uh-oh. I didn't know you could get a... Oh, no. Okay, we have a problem here. Um, I didn't know you could get a double on, like, the gem spots. So we just got a double topaz there. That's huge. Uh, we really need to get to a safe spot. Caves are usually not too dangerous. The floor is lava. Maybe I stand corrected. Oh, well, that seems easy. I mean, I'm sure it's not gonna stay easy. Is the floor literally lava? Not literally, but close. This is also a really cool challenge. I appreciate that the floor isn't literally lava. How do I do this one? Nice! Okay. I think I'm okay still? does that, but what is that? Oh, okay. I'm assuming I, I, I botched this though, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's see what I have to do though. I'm also, I don't see any secret passages, so I think we're good on that. This is a good puzzle. This is a good puzzle design. I like this. I like it because it's, um... It's challenging without being punishing. Like, there's no, there's no punishment for failure here. You just get to try again. Which is, that's, it's actually really good. The door remains shut. The lava has not been your friend. Even the slightest touch, leave and enter again. <gasps> you have to do the whole thing without... No way. Oh, we can do that. We can totally do that. I think. I feel like I'm making this section more complex than it actually is. But I don't I don't know that for a fact. Oh shoot, I just <laughs> Meanwhile, welcome to the probably hour long episode of uh SteamWorld Dig 2 as I try to do this puzzle and fail. Um Yeah, this one seems, like, more complex. I think I'm making it harder than it is. Alright, we're good so far. Wait. Oh, that's... that's devious. So we gotta get back down. Yeah, 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 okay. I, I think I'm good here. I think I did it. Yeah, nice! Again, awesome challenge. There's no real punishment, you can just try again. The only punishment is is time spent on it, and that's it's very well handled. Another cog. I don't want to get crushed. And that tube should be nearby, and here it is. All right. Well, we're just gonna go up top here, and in our goods.
quite a bit of cash. I don't think we have enough um, artifacts yet. We got 13, okay. And let me just check this real quick. Do it two. Oh, this wasn't the... I picked up the wrong one. I thought this was the less resources when you die thing. That was um, pretty bad. Uh, we'll do the magna separator again. But uh, yeah, that will do it for now. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did click like, helps a bunch. Subscribe for more, and I will see you soon.